Hello. In this video, let n be a positive integer. For each two integers a and b, we say a is congruent to b modulo n if n divides a minus b. In other words, a minus b is equal to n times some integer. Now at this point, we have proven that congruence modulo n is an equivalence relation on the integers. In other words, congruence modulo n is reflexive on the integers, symmetric, and transitive. And because congruence modulo n is an equivalence relation on the integers, this tells us every integer has an equivalence class. So for each integer a, we write the equivalence class of a as follows. The equivalence class of a is the set of integers x such that a is congruent to x modulo n. Now in this video, we are going to talk about how we can add these equivalence classes. And the way we can do so is as follows. Given any two integers a and b, we write the equivalence class of a plus the equivalence class of b to be equal to the equivalence class of a plus b. Now, it is understood that these two operations of addition are different because this operation of addition is adding two equivalence classes of integers, while this operation of addition is adding two integers. But nonetheless, we will still write them with the same symbol. Now, our goal in this video is to show that this addition map is well-defined. In other words, we want to show that the equivalence class of a plus b is the only value that can possibly be yielded when we add the equivalence class of a and the equivalence class of b. Because what happens if we represent the equivalence class of a in a different form? Let's say it's equal to the equivalence class of a prime, where a prime is another integer. And let's say that the equivalence class of b is represented in a different form, the equivalence class of b prime where b prime is an integer. Now, what this operation is telling us is, if we add the equivalence class of a plus the equivalence class of b, it should be assigned uniquely to the value equivalence class of a plus b. And also, when we add equivalence class of a prime and equivalence class of b prime, well, this operation is telling us it should be uniquely mapped to equivalence class of a prime plus b prime. But how do we know that these two guys are going to be equal to each other? That's what we want to prove in order to show that the addition map is well defined. Now, in proving this claim, we are also going to be using a property about equivalence relations, which is as follows. Given any two integers a and b, a is congruent to b modulo n if and only if the equivalence class of a is equal to the equivalence class of b. In fact, this result holds for equivalence classes in general. So now, let's get into proving this claim. So, to prove that this mapping is well defined, let's suppose equivalence class of A is equal to equivalence class of A prime, and let's suppose equivalence class of B is equal to equivalence class of B prime. From here, we want to show that the equivalence class of A plus B is equal to the equivalence class of a prime plus b prime. That will tell us, no matter how we represent these two guys in a different way, the result yielded by the addition is always going to be the same value. And to show this, it suffices to show by this result that a plus b is congruent to a prime plus b prime, modulo n. Now to start, since equivalence class of a is equal to equivalence class of a prime, that implies a is congruent to a prime modulo n. Similarly, this implies b is congruent to b prime modulo n. And then, according to the definition of congruence modulo n, this means that n divides a minus a prime. This means n divides b minus b prime. 
But then, what does it mean for an integer to divide another integer? Well, this means that a minus a prime is equal to n times some integer. So we can say that a minus a prime is equal to n times p for some integer p. And since this is true, we can say that b minus b prime is equal to n times q for some integer q. And now we're going to take these two equations and add them together. And if we do so, we get this. Now on the right hand side, we can factor out n. And on the left hand side, if we regroup these terms, we get this. So this tells us that a plus b minus a prime plus b prime is equal to n times some integer. And that's precisely what it means for n to divide a plus b minus a prime plus b prime. But then by definition of congruence modulo n, this means that a plus b is congruent to a prime plus b prime modulo n. But then according to this result, this implies that the equivalence class of a plus b is equal to the equivalence class of a prime plus b prime. And that is exactly what we wanted to show in order to show that this operation is well defined. And so this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.